with producer director Gary Jones and some of you might know some of his uh, uh, previous films like Mosquito, Spiders, some of those sci-fi favorites but he's actually uh, ventured into a new territory now uh, with a movie called Axe Giant, The Wrath of Paul Bunyan. So I want to know a little bit first, uh, <laughs> yeah that movie right there. I wanted to, uh, the first, tell us a little bit about how you got started, and, you know, into the filmmaking and, and what you've done, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, what brought on the idea of the Axe Giant. Uh, actually, I started my career doing, I had an artistic background, I started in special effects, doing makeup effects and building miniatures and doing pyrotechnics and blowing things up, and that was kind of my entry into the business, and it got me on sets and commercials and stuff, so I could actually start to learn all the, all the jobs and get closer to that director's chair. Uh, that was my way in, and then so over the years, uh, I started putting together my own f short films on that, and I figured I had to come up with a movie that would launch the career. I had to, you know, not do a slasher movie, not do the typical stuff, but something that would stand out. Well, I always loved the 50s, giant monsters of the 50s. So I go, well, I'll do a giant monster movie, and I could do the effects and build it all. And then, so I came up with Mosquito. No one's ever done a giant mosquito, and I'm thinking, that's it. I'll make a giant mosquito that attacks people, We'll get a shotgun, we'll get a chainsaw. You know, it's the bloodiest movie ever made, right? Big right. explosions of blood. Right. So that was my first movie. We raised the money uh, independently. It was a total indie film. Uh, raised all the money. It was in 1993. And uh, went into production, finished it in 94. Uh, we got distribution in 94 and 95. It was out everywhere. And so that was like the, that was the launch. And actually helped launch my career and got me out to Hollywood from uh, good old growing up in Michigan. And uh, from there, moved on. It just took off. That's great. So, uh, you see, you, know, you did Spiders, Mosquito, and, and a, a couple other films there, but this this, this is different. I, I, it, what gave you the idea to come up with uh, Paul Bunyan? I mean, I don't, I don't even remember a, a movie uh, that had anything to do with Paul Bunyan. This is this a first? It is. Um, actually, uh, I've done a, a bunch of creature features, you know, and Crocodile and Spiders and Ghouls and Boogeyman and, you know, Lightning Strikes and... Uh, action movie ballistica, so a lot of stuff. But uh, I had done a movie called Jolly Roger, Massacre at Cutter's Cove, and uh, my uh, uh, writing partner on that, we were, we were prepping another movie that he was gonna produce, I was gonna direct, which is from original script that I had written with Gunnar Hansen, and we, we couldn't raise the money for it. We ended up writing this script together called Jolly Roger, and we sold that, and uh, we made that little movie, and then uh, we were trying to find another movie to make. And the other one fell through, we couldn't raise the money on it. And so uh, we were sitting around a coffee shop in LA, spitballing ideas, and Jeff Miller actually came up with the idea. I'm, I'm pitching this ghost scary movie, he's pitching that. And he goes, what about a movie about, what about, uh, you know, Paul Bunyan, he's got a big ax and he kills people. And I'm like, what? But it's a, I don't want to do a slasher movie. He goes, yeah, it's Paul Bunyan. I go, yeah, well, Paul Bunyan, yeah, you know, Paul Bunyan's a tall tale. And I'm thinking, wow, Paul Bunyan hasn't been done as a horror movie. So we started thinking about it and I'm going, yeah, but I, it doesn't want to be a horror movie. So I thought, you know what it is? It's Paul Bunyan is like a legendary uh, American folklore. So we thought, well, well, there's there's our hook. We can make like a, a we can brand it that way. We can make those kind of movies that kind of haven't been done. And we'll use Paul Bunyan and Baby Blue Ox is the first one. So I started thinking, how can I do it? I'm going, you know, he's going to be 15, 18 foot tall. I'm going, you know, the typical thing is to do CG. I thought, no, we got to. We'll build a monster suit, put an actor in a monster suit, we'll build big giant miniatures that he can destroy, and we'll composite the actors in there, and we'll use computer graphics to put it together. But it'll be like old school. I use my old school techniques. And we built a giant hand for Bunyan who reaches, a big you know, foot, all, axe, all these things. And so that was the genesis was, it hadn't been done before. It was always known as like a cartoon or a legend. And we thought, well, that's the hook. It was like Mosquito. When you go back to the beginning, you come up with an idea that like hadn't been done before, and do it in a big audacious way. You kind of make some stink. You get noticed, and and I thought, man, we shot the movie as Bunyan, and uh, then when we went to sell it, we knew. I knew the title was coming. The change was coming, because you know, uh, Sci-Fi Channel's like, hey, how do we how do we sell something to Bunyan in three seconds? You know, we got to explain it. We can't explain it. And the same with the foreign territory. So we came up with Axe Giant and we added the wrath of Paul Bunyan to keep the Paul Bunyan name into that and uh, for domestic too. So that's how it came about. That's, that's, that's a very interesting story and, and, and it does draw your attention, Axe Giant. And, and it's, it's, that's great. But a very ironic thing, because I saw this movie and it's a fun flick, trust me. 
But an ironic thing is that, you know, the, the, the lumberjack, the Paul Bunyan, somebody makes a cameo in this movie. <laughs> it's none other than Dan Haggerty, Grizzly Adams. How did you come about with getting him? Yes, Dan Haggerty. Um, well, we had a part. Uh, we wanted to open the movie with uh, uh, Foreman Bill the Logger, logging camp 100 years ago. And we thought, well, that will be a good part for us to get a name and to get a name actor and some recognizable, you know, recognizable guys in it. And um, we had already uh, met with Joe Estevez. I met Joe. Joe, actually, we met at that coffee shop that we came up with the idea on. We were writing the script there and talking about the Meeks character. And I looked across the way, and there was Joe Estevez having coffee. I'm going, hey, he should play Meeks. So to round this around, he accepted that. So we were working on the movie and getting everything going. And we're like, okay, we've got to find somebody to play the role of the foreman. You know, it'll be a one, one or two day part and we'll kill him. Well, <clears throat> we're having drinks at a bar in LA, the casting office, famous bar in LA. And uh, you know where the story's going. It, it parallels how we got Joe. We're in the bar and a buddy of ours, go, a buddy of ours that we always hung out at the bar said, hey, you know who comes in here all the time? Dan Haggerty comes in here all the time. And really? And he goes, yeah, he built the bar. He does construction and carpentry and stuff. And he built the whole cool bar in there. So we go, we started thinking about it going, I go, yeah, Grizzly Adams just comes in here. So me and Jeff are sitting there and it, like the light bulb just went on. I'm like, holy shit. Grizzly Adams is as the logger, Foreman Bill. And of course, not to give it away, but once you see the movie, you'll see why it was a good idea to have Grizzly Adams do what he does in this movie. And we thought, he's the link that turns this movie around. So, comes into the bar, Jeff met him, they talk, boom. And he goes, yeah, I'll do your movie. So we got our two guys that way. So it's one of those things that just like, it, it happens, you know, and it was kind of meant to be. And uh, so we flew Joe, uh, we flew uh, Dan Haggerty out to Ohio. We shot his sequences in Ohio. And uh, it snowed, so it was kind of miserable and white and crazy out. But he had a great time, and uh, he was just wonderful. He came out, and we shot his sequences, and, and uh, not to give it away, but, you know, he does kind of get a little hurt in the movie. And uh, he was a trooper. He was great. Uh, yeah, that, I can't say enough about it. I mean, the movie's great. Axe Giant, The Wrath of Paul Bunyan with uh, Dan Haggerty, but Joe Estevez, and, and uh, a great cast, and it's just a fun movie. So... Keep your eye out for X Giant, The Wrath of Paul Bunyan on Sci-Fi Channel, Amazon, and there's a website. No? Yes, you can go to AxeGiantMovie.com, and we'll we update it every week or so. It'll have the new uh, air dates for Sci-Fi Channel, but also on there we have all the links. Whether you like to go to Amazon, Target, Best Buy, Fries, wherever you want to go, it's there. Um, Netflix streaming, uh, iTunes streaming, YouTube streaming, uh, it's everywhere. Well, there you have it. Now you have. Uh, no excuse on not knowing how to find Axe Giant, the Wrath of Paul Bunyan. So I want to say thank you to Gary Jones and best of luck with everything else you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool.